In this video, we will discuss the most common issues that can impact the functionality of your electrolarynx and some basic steps to get your device back to a working condition. The two most common issues that can affect your device are a low battery or a sticking button. If your Provox TrueTone Emote or TrueTone Plus is experiencing low volume issues, the cause may be a low battery. The device is designed to decrease the volume to prolong battery life. To check if the battery is low, press and hold the power button. If the LED light above the USB dust cover illuminates, the device's battery life is at 20% or lower. Once you've identified the device has a low battery, it will need to be charged in order to restore full volume. To charge, remove the dust cover from the USB port on the side of the device. Then, take the provided USB charger and make sure it's properly inserted into the USB port. The LED light will illuminate, showing the device is in charge mode. Once the electrolarynx is fully charged, the LED light will begin to flash. This typically takes four to six hours to complete. Then, remove the charger and place the USB dust cover over the USB port. If you have charged the device for a full six hours and the LED light began flashing, but the volume is still low, your charger cord may be broken. This is a simple fix as all TrueTone devices use a micro USB cord that can be easily found at most local stores. Try charging your device using a new charging cord for the recommended six hours. If you're still experiencing charging issues, please contact Atos Medical. If you are experiencing issues where the device continues to vibrate after letting go of the power button, you may have a sticking button. One way to alleviate a sticking button is to clean it with isopropyl alcohol. You will need the following items to clean the button. Isopropyl alcohol, cotton swabs, and paper towels. First, dip a cotton swab in the isopropyl alcohol. The excess moisture should be dabbed onto a paper towel to prevent moisture damage. Then, swab around the power button five to 10 times. Next, press and release the power button five to 10 times to allow the alcohol to slowly seep into the button cavity. Repeat this process as many times as necessary until the button stops sticking. This process can take up to 20 cycles. If you're still experiencing issues with your sticking power button, please contact Atos Medical. We hope you have found the information and tips in this video helpful. If you need any additional support, reach out to us at Atos Medical. We're here to help. For additional resources, visit our website.